Hi, good afternoon, how you doing? This is Thorn Holder, not representing Dream Designs, representing myself. So I'm so casual. I need to cover that up. <sighs> All right. Alrighty. I want to talk with you today about one thing, and that's feeling good now. Um, I had an experience today where I put my attention on some things that I did not like about what's going on. It was good because it caused me to make some adjustments, okay? Um, I wasn't feeling good. So one of the things that we teach at Dream Design, when you're not feeling good, you know, figure out real quick how to change that momentum. Um, one of the things I do, I take a shower right away. You know, because it's representative representative of the, of the of a cleaning process. You know, um, so I took a shower and I reached out to some people. I had a great conversation and it got me out of the the, the terrible feeling. Now this feeling was it, it wasn't a serious thing, you know, um, but it it gave me the idea. All right, let me have a conversation with some people about this. Um, first things, feeling good now is the most important thing in your life okay inspiration creativity good decisions they they are best when you are feeling good now not when you intend to feel good tomorrow um, not remembering how you felt yesterday no that can help you feel good that's what we the, the, the exercises that we do um, in our 21 day book is to write a list of things of experiences that you had in the past you were really excited about that you really enjoyed um, but as far as feeling good now, as far as being a creative individual now, it's important. Whatever means you can, you know, it's different for, for many people, you know. Um, some people want money. Some people want love and appreciation. I mean, everybody, I, I believe, needs some love and appreciation. Um, so, but for different people, their, their past might not be that awesome and they might not be able to look back and really feel good. They might look back and feel worse, you know. Um, I would like to say this, and I would close with this. Um, find things that make you feel good. Ignore. Ignore what society says about it, okay? Don't do anything that will make your life any worse. It's felonies and jail time and hurting other, other people. That's unnecessary. Okay, there are other things you can do to feel good. Aim to feel good now. Because when you're feeling good now, the decisions that you make are awesome. Also, when you're feeling good now, you don't miss opportunities. I'm going to give you a quick story. Um, a long time ago, long, long time ago, having a conversation with this lady. And, um, you know, which she going back and forth for a while. And she was very, very, you know, playing this hide and seek game. I am aware of it. But uh, it got to a point where I'm no, no longer interested in seeking. I was becoming frustrated. And um, one day I asked, okay, so what, what are you doing this evening? Her usual response would be something other than hanging out with me. So I am, um, in my frustration, so she responded, you know, um, yeah, I might, I might go out with a friend of mine who lives XYZ now. Well, the XYZ was where I lived. Now, because I was not feeling good, because I was all frustrated and pissed off with not getting my way, I didn't see, oh shit, she's talking about me. She's thinking about going out with me. I missed that opportunity, whatever you want to call it. So that's a, you know, it happens like that all the time. And in business, the same way. In solving problems, the same way. Okay? The solution to your problem is always right in front of you. Okay? The universe does not give you, you know, the Bible said it, and not religious and all of that, but, uh, you know, it has some impact on me, but the Bible said, um, it is, you know, God does not give you anything more than you can deal with. Whatever it is you are dealing with right now, the solution is right in front of you. All right. It's just about being in the state to compute the solution, to interpret it, to see it, to see how you could use what you have around you to solve your problem. The reason I'm looking is because I'm, you know, there's stuff around me right now that could solve loads of problems for me. Okay. I do have loads of problems. Um, but we all come across things that could turn into problems. They are just challenges so that you could decide how you are going to react and the type of habits that you, you will willing to instill. So feel good now. 
aim to feel a little bit better than you're feeling now consistently. And in that feeling, your inspiration and your, your creativity will continue. Those are the most important aspects of doing anything. Eh? And doing is not really important. It's about feeling good. When you feel good, inspiration comes and motivation. Okay? Um, creativity. So feel good. I have a great evening. This is Thornholder.